Hi. Let's learn about bank drafts. Today, we will talk about what is a bank draft, how it works, and how it differs from other payment options. A bank draft is a payment that is like a check, but its amount is guaranteed by the issuing bank. The funds are drawn from the requesting payer's account and are then placed in the bank's reserve account until the draft is cashed by the payee. Bank drafts provide the payee with a form of payment that is more secure than personal checks. You have several options available to make secure, certified payment options including certified checks, wire transfers, and bank drafts. Certified payment options give the payee more security because the funds are guaranteed. Bank drafts, also called banker's drafts, bank check, or teller's check, are guaranteed by the issuing bank, in many cases, for a large amount of money. You may be required to provide a bank draft and you make payment for a major purchase, such as for a down payment to buy property. When you request a bank draft, the bank ensures you have enough money in your account to cover the amount requested. It then withdraws the money from your account and moves it to the bank's reserve account. The bank then prepares the draft with your name and the amount you are paying the third party, the payee. Some banks may not put stop payments on drafts once they're issued. That's because the transaction has already taken place, according to their records. If you want to reverse the transaction, the bank usually requires that you redeem the draft for the full amount. In some cases, it is possible to cancel or replace a lost, stolen, or destroyed draft as long as you have the required documentation. A bank draft and a money order are both guaranteed for a specific amount and they are both considered a secure method of payment for a payee. The payer does not need to carry large amounts of money when using a bank draft or money order. However, a bank draft is a check drawn on a bank's funds after accepting the amount from the issuer's account, whereas cash is used when purchasing a money order. You can use cash or a debit card to buy a money order, but you cannot use a credit card. Since money orders could be used to launder money, you can only purchase a money order in the US for up to $1,000 if you are sending it domestically or for up to $700 if you are sending it internationally. Bank draft amounts can be much higher. With a bank draft, the funds are withdrawn from your bank account and then the check is made out from the bank, which guarantees it. Your funds are placed into the bank's reserve account. With a certified check, the money is also guaranteed by the bank, but your funds are not withdrawn until the check is cashed. Instead, they are placed on hold. Once a bank draft is given to the person it was intended for, it cannot be cancelled. You, as the purchaser, are responsible for delivering the draft to the payee. If you lose it, you will have to take several steps to get a new draft, which may include providing a The amount a bank draft will cost will vary by financial institution. Some may charge a flat fee while others may charge a percentage of the check amount. For example, TD Bank charges $9.95 for a bank draft. Here are one key takeaways. 1. A bank draft is a payment that is guaranteed by the issuing bank. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.